नमस्कार माई सेल्फ संदीप चौहान इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वाट इज कैम वाई वी यूज कैम एंड हाउ वी कैन क्लासीफाई कैम एंड फॉलोअर फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस वाई वी यूज कैम द फर्स्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट रीजन टू यूज कैम इज ईजीनेस इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड सिंस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैम इज ईजी दस इट इज लेस एक्सपेंसिव इट इज कंपैक्ट एंड रिक्वायर लेस स्पेस इट नीड्स फ्यूअर पार्ट्स इन दिस केस ओनली ड्राइविंग एंड ड्रिवन पार्ट्स रिक्वायर्ड नो इंटरमीडिएट पार्ट्स नीडेड थ्रू कैम वी कैन इम्पार्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मोशंस टू ड्रिवन पार्ट्स आई थिंक दीज आर द सफिशेंट रीजन्स टू जनरेट इंटरेस्ट ऑफ इंजीनियर्स इन कैम नाउ how we can define cam cam can be defined as a mechanical device which is used to transmit motion to a follower by direct contact the basic components of cam and follower mechanism are a driving component which is used to provide desired motion to the follower is known as cam a driven component which is desired to be driven with desired motion is known as follower and for supporting driving and driven component we need supporting structure and these supporting structures are known as frame <coughs> this diagram shows basic components of cam here a rotating cam is used to provide oscillating motion to the follower by direct contact and the, this structure is used to support cam and follower and thus is known as frame here a spring is used to maintain contact between cam and follower cam can also be defined as a rotating or reciprocating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower which is attached with it thus normally cam is a rotating or reciprocating members while follower is a reciprocating or oscillating member the cam and the follower have a line or point contact and thus constitute a higher pair now i would like to discuss some applications of cam cam is used in internal combustion engines to operate inlet and exhaust valves these can be used in automatic machines cams can be used in paper cutting machines cams can be used in spinning and weaving textile machineries cam can be used in feed mechanism of automatic lathe cams are used in automatic screw cutting machines cams are used in internally expanding shoe brakes cams are used in packaging and processing machinery cams are used in pressing printing machines diagram shows cam axles This diagram also shows cam axis and vicing 
these diagrams you can understand the action of CAM in different applications. Now, classification of CAMs. According to physical shape of the CAM, CAM can be classified into disc or plate CAM. In disc or plate CAM, a plate type CAM is used to impart desired motion to the follower as shown in diagram. B. Batch CAM In batch CAM, a wooden metallic piece or batch type piece of metal is used to provide desired motions to the follower. In wedge type camps, normally camps are translating, have translating motions. Cylindrical camps. In this type of camps, a cylindrical shape of camp is used to impart desired motions. Conical camps. In conical camps, a cone type cam is used to impart desired motions to follower. A e globoidal cam here, a spheroidal cam is used to provide desired motions to the follower. F and or face cam. Here, face of the cam is used as a cam to provide desired motions to the follower. This type of cam, a groove is cut on the face of the cam. And a follower is fitted into the groove. As shown in diagram. Cam can also be classified on the basis of type of joint closure. And they classified into two groups force closed cams and form closed cams. In force clo closed cam, an external force is required to keep cam in contact with the follower. And generally, a springs is used for this purpose as shown in diagram. In form closed cams are closed by joint geometry or by slot mill out of the cam as shown in diagram. Now we will discuss the classification of follower. Followers are classified on the basis of type of surface contact a follower have with cam. First one is knife edge follower. When the contacting end of the follower has a sharp knife edge it is called a knife edge follower. B. Roller follower. When the contacting end of the follower is a roller, it is called a roller follower. When the contacting end of the follower is flat faced, it is called a flat faced follower as shown in diagrams. If the contacting end, uh, end of the follower is of a spherical shape, it is called a spherical faced follower as shown in the diagrams. Followers can also be classified on to the basis of motion of the followers. And followers are known as reciprocating or translating followers if follower reciprocates in guides as the cam rotates. If follower oscillates when the cam have uniform rotary motion then follower is known as oscillating follower. Follower can also be classified on the basis of 
position of line of motion of the follower. If the line of motion of the follower is passing through the center of rotation of the cam, then follower is known as radial follower as shown in these diagrams. If line of motion of the follower does not pass through the axis of rotation of the cam, then follower is known as offset follower.